Hello peeps, Jordan is great 505 here. Uh, welcome to the new mod thing. So we're back and I've been working on the prototype for the past few weeks when I got the time to work on it. I took the weekend to finally get some more progress done. And uh, well I have a lot to explain, this is probably going to be a long video. So if you're fine with just hearing me talk about this and seeing how the mod plays so far. Uh, yeah, so I just hope people can have the attention span to watch this because I know it's going to be a long video where I explain a lot. So I, I decided to work on this some more and I kind of went about trying to recreate this, uh, the prototype map as best as I can. Um, so this is a recreation of the prototype uh, map from Halo Legends, the, the UNSC testing facility as it is. Uh, this one. Um, now it's not entirely accurate, like for example, I'm not too happy with the sky or the fog. It, it's not like completely accurate. Now keep in mind also too, is that it's going to look more like this when it's put into game because of MCC like lowering the uh, thing. This is also the first fully custom skybox I ever did, like a fully modeled one. And this is, and this, all these buildings are just background scenery, like, um, I'm gonna have the co-op player spawn here, they'll get a few vehicles they can use to help you, help the prototype suit out. Up there is where the, uh, uh, evac shuttles are, at least I assume, and, uh, you know, that's kind of how it is. Now, there's also an issue with the fog where it does this, because, I don't know, I took a bunch of models from scenery stuff. Um, I also found some concept art, uh, some people on Halo Mods gave me it to use that I could try and recreate this the best I, to my ability. I also kind of used this as a reference of where to put everything. You kind of have a lot of, you have, you, it's just hard to translate a 2D anime to 3D as well, it's like, there's something I'm debating on too, it's like, I, I don't know if I really want to recreate the cutscene anymore, because I know I said I did, but here's the problem. The thing about 2D animation, and this is understandable, you're not always going to get the scaling correct, and a lot of the short, a lot of the scaling is inconsistent. For example, you have phantoms deploying wraiths out of the troop buried, uh, carrier. And the reef, as you can see, is this big compared to the prototype suit, which is actually, I think, is pretty close to the actual size. And then you have the phantom over here, and then the prototype suit launching its tank shells into it. Can you see the problems? You also have slight animation deviations. Like, the phantom here is a bit different. Like, you can see it has a green eye. Um, it's a little more bulkier, kind of like the Halo 5 phantom. It also has red flames instead of uh, the bluish purple ones you get. Um, so there are so it's not going to be an entirely accurate recreation, I will admit. And it's also due to like you know there's animation stuff that happens. I kind of just made a whole. I I kind of studied all my references here for this stuff. Um, now of course I do have to add effects. Like I want to have an ongoing battle in the background because right now I will admit it feels a bit too empty. So I have got to do that. And also, when it comes to make remaking the cutscene, I'd also have to figure out how to do this. It's like, the anime does it so much better. Um, and as you can see, there's some reference here. And I used it to make some things, which I'll show. Um, yeah. I ended up sculpting it all in Unreal Engine and decimating it in Blender. And as you can see, kind of got it all down. Now these are earlier screenshots, that's why it looks a bit different. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. And when it comes, and also, ignore these, I will be patching these up when the time comes, and fixing the UVs. Um, it's just, I, I've been focusing more on making it fun right now, because, you know, that's kind of more fun to do. Um, so as you can see, I recreated the, uh, units here. 
you have the elites, which are, you know, I just, they're mostly palette swaps, but keep in mind most of my stuff in the Halo 3 engine were replaced by Banish, so this took a lot more work than it looks. So all the grunts in Prototype are green, all the elites are like this more blue color. Um, they also have bigger shoulder pads, but I don't know. Um, and I also want to give these guys gibs. I want to attempt to, I don't know if I can, I should say. Um, because in the short, this guy gets chopped in half, and this guy gets his arms chopped off, and he holds the dual to plasma rifles. So you have the grunt heavy, the elite, um, the, uh, I I'm calling this guy the duelist, or the assault elite, I don't know, because he always will be holding two plasma rifles, and this guy is the heavy elite, who holds the flat cannon, aka the fuel rod cannon. And then the hunters, which are more bluish in color. Um, and it's using some of the uh, Hunter Combine colorization tags. Um, then the Wraith is a little more uh, purplish, bluish. Um, and the Phantom's more purple. And it has the green eyes. I colored them on there because it, ju it, it just adds a lot to it. And most people won't notice. Um, it also has an interior. This part's a little weird, I'm still figuring this out. Um, this interior is by Pepper, he kind of made this. Um, and we have the Banshee, which isn't done because, like I said, these are just... I had to re-implement all the Halo Free tags. Um, so I was working on all of this. Now, how does this all play? And How will it be fun to fight the same units over and over? Well, I'm going to show you how. So, in the short, you know, the prototype suit comes down, the marines go away over here or something. And then this is where you come in, and you have to shoot, you have to fight the Covenant. We're gonna, do, we're gonna semi do it to how it is done in prototype. So like, if we go here, the anime run. Yes, the prototype suit has a sword as well. We'll go right here, just kick it. Okay, I still have to give it a grenade. Immediately. So, I think, uh... So now we gotta fight the Covenant here. Now, there weren't any ghosts in Prototype, but I thought it'd be funny to just smack them around, so I added them anyways.
No, I think we're missing music. Hold on. So yeah, that was kind of... That, that's the Super Phantom, I guess I never mentioned that. Um, so yeah, so you can board it and kill all the crew inside, but uh, by default it will deploy things. Um, which it's doing right now, see it's getting the rate... I still have to add the vehicle impulse that Pepper showed me. Um, but yeah, it kind of drops in four wraiths like it does in the prototype short. And yes, you can technically fly if you turn on Acrophobia. So, yeah, I guess that gives use to that stall. Yeah, so you just get to fight waves of that. So I guess I may as well show the Super Phantoms, uh... Uh, drop off sequence just to end this video off with something. So, this is a. Oh shit. 
one of the passengers fell out. So yeah, this is the Super Phantom. It has the, uh, here I'll stop it so you can see clearly before it drops everything off. So it's kind of, I used the Halo 5 Phantom's design to give it a more aggressive look. And I, and I use, and these little bunny ears, these horns are from the, uh, it kind of looks like the cut Halo 2 Profit ship that would shoot down drop pods. Um, and this particular part was based off of, in the short, the uh, wraiths actually come out of the sides, as I showed before. Um, and I wanted to take that, I, wanted, I took it too seriously, so I made it a real thing. And I have the Banshees up here, they're kind of on the racks, the drone racks over here. Um, so I gave use to those, um, and they kind of just, you know, they're kind of there, because these are all vehicle attachments, and then I have the crew in here. You have a Jordan Spartan, Spartan, he made this one, this a C E Elite, uh, and this wasn't in the short, but I thought I'd had it anyways, just to have this design, because I love it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to add here, I'd probably add Hunter Worms or something of the sorts. Um, and I need to give it a proper destruction. Um, and then we have the Duelist Elites. Normal elites, and you have heavy elites on the side that can shoot uh, fuel rod um, cannons. So, so I guess I'll show it off now. So it also will deploy drop pods. I say that technically it does. Um, so we'll just come over here. Um, it's gonna you know, drop off, you're gonna shoot down the drop pods any second now. Any second. Please do it. Please do it already. Where is it? Oh yeah, right here. There we go. So it's gonna deploy these. There we go. Now, you have Spec Ops Elites with Shade Plasma Rifles and uh, Swords. They come in different colors as well. The Combat Evolved ones. So then we go over here, and it's going to drop off the Banshees. They'll come out the back, or they can come out the sides. So it's kind of like what the Lich did in Paradise Panic, except I got it to properly work. And, uh, it's gonna come back over here. And I still have to give it proper emplacements, because the chin gun still thing. Like, like, just reminding everyone, this isn't fully done yet. I'm just showing this off, because I worked hard on it. And I'm proud of it. Um, and then we go over here. And the wraiths come down, which I still gotta make them drop off better, of course. Um... I kind of just slide off right now, but yeah, you get you have to deal with all these reefs now. And it goes flies off, and then it does a loop a few times around and drops off more drop pods. So, yeah. Now, of course, players could just technically keep shooting at this thing till it blows up, which is true. And that's probably what will happen. They'll probably never see this because they'll blow it up before it gets to its points. But you know, it's pretty cool. And then you have the crew defending you know. The thing is, is the Lich, the reason I didn't use the Lich is because the Lich does not have a vehicle area where it can just store vehicles that easily. It can store phantoms under it, but it cannot store, like, it, it doesn't have, like, the, the Banished Lich is much better in that regard. And, uh, yeah. So the drop pods, well, they're not actually coming of the Phantom, but I, I wanted to pretend like they were. It's just, <laughs> there's not much I can do about that. So I just wanted to make it look like it's calling them down or something. But, the, but they, they just, uh, they come out of here. And, uh, what was else, else I was going to say? 
Yeah. Um, and I also wanted to have the Phantom deploy the Wraiths like it did in the short, so I thought the best option was to make a Super Phantom, kind of like the Super Hind. So, yeah. And uh, about this, about this, I should say, um, I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say, but... Yeah, I, I guess it's a pretty good alternative to the Lich here. Uh, now, the thing is, the mesh is a bit weird, because I had to decimate it so the Halo 5 Phantom could work. So I need to patch up some holes, but uh, other than that, it's working pretty great. Um, and because it's already deployed its uh, crew, it's just going to... It's just going to circle around now, it's not going to bother coming back down. Um, you know, and the player can come down, like, the player can go inside of it, kill the crew, and just blow up the Phantom. You know, it's kind of, it's just, it's just like the Paradise Panic on Lich, except you have actual firepower to take it down. But yeah. I really like this. I'm really happy with this in particular. Now, I know this part isn't entirely accurate to prototype. But at the same time, would you guys really find it fun to be fighting the same Banshees, Wraiths, you know, these guys over and over again? Of course not. You need something to spice it up. So, you know, I, I think, I'm thinking it's just going to be kind of like an, a glorified version of, like a, uh, it's going to be Lone Wolf on steroids, because that's what Prototype pretty much is. And, uh... You know, the player just has to destroy three of these super phantoms to finish the mission, because three of these guys will come in and they'll have tons of enemies to fight and destroy. You know, I think it's going to be fun for people, you know, three times the charm, they'll be able to enjoy this boss fight three times and just have a fun time, you know. And the co-op players, I'm going to give them some aerial vehicles, jetpacks, you know, stuff to, to help the main player help out, you know, it's just going to be a fun time. And there's still a lot of work I gotta do, but right now I think I nailed down the fact that it's fun so far, so I think that's what's important. You know, of course there's some issues to iron out, but, you know, I'm pretty happy with this so far, and, you know, I hope this turns out well. So, yeah, thank you for watching if you watched this far. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of what I have done over the past few weeks, and yeah, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.